Good morning, South Rock. Welcome to another Mark Devo. Today is Mark 14, 53 through 65. It is the start of the trial against Jesus, an illegal trial, actually, for a lot of reasons in the Jewish law. It happened at night. It didn't happen uh, after a couple days of arrest. He didn't have representation. Whole bunch of stuff going on here. Um, but basically, he's before the whole council, the whole council, which is chief priests, um, Pharisees, and Sadducees. They had a council of people that oversaw different cases and religious things, and they couldn't find anybody to have a true testimony or corroborating testimony. And the one thing that was really brought up was that somebody heard that he will destroy the temple and then build it up in three days without using his hands, uh, or one that's not made with hands, I should say. <laughs> that would be a different kind of situation, which they couldn't even agree on that, even though he did say that. He said, you know, the temple's going to be different after three days, and it's because we are now the temple. Um, but then finally, somebody just, a high priest came, came and asked him, are you the Christ, the son of the blessed? Uh, and Jesus said, I am, and you'll, you're going to see me seated at the right hand. And at this, the priest tore his clothes, they declared blasphemy, and they began to spit on him, and they covered his face and struck him. And so the official charge in the Jewish court is blasphemy. And this is because he just equated himself with God, which none can do. This was a big no-no in Judaism, still is today, is in the church. You shouldn't equate yourself with God, ever. Uh, and so for him to do this was a big deal. It was true, though. And that's the important thing. He was telling the truth. He ought to equate himself with God because he was God. Uh, Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. And so... Their reaction to that is appropriate had he been lying, which they thought he was, but since he's telling the truth, this seems like a situation, right? This seems so strange because we know that he is telling the truth, so why would they react this way? Um, they weren't able to see it. They were blind to this, and so today isn't really a question. Today is a challenge, and I know I do this often, but I'm going to do it again today. I want to challenge you to pray. I want to pray that either you or someone around you can have the truth revealed to them. Because the truth is hard, a hard thing to handle. We can see it here. The, uh, he hears blasphemy and he rips apart his clothes. He is distraught over this, the high priest is, because he thinks this man is lying and blaspheming in front of him. And so this is, the reality is he thinks he's lying, but he's hearing the truth and the truth can do that. The truth can be heartbreaking and can rip us apart and can make us want to just tear at things. And so I want you to pray today God, what is a truth that needs to be revealed to me? And God, if that's if that's something that I need to realize or somebody near me realizes and needs to tell me, allow there to be truth spoken into my life. And I want you also to pray for a heart that's willing to accept it, not like the high priest here, tearing apart his clothes, but like it says in the Old Testament, uh, God says, I don't want you to rip apart your clothes. He says, rend not your clothes, rend your hearts. Basically, be heartbroken over this truth. So pray today that a truth can be revealed to you, whether it's a hard to swallow one or something that maybe even be a, uh, something that you just need to work on. Reveal a truth to me, O oh Lord, and give me a heart to accept it. So that's what I want you to do today. I hope you have success and uh, a good day with that.